a common extension of the usual stoichiometric calculations would be percentage yield, where you are given what you would need to calculate a certain amount of product. So in this example, we are told that we start with 150 grams of iron oxide and excess carbon monoxide. And normally the question would be how much iron is formed. What this percentage yield question changes is they now tell you that you actually form 87.9 grams of iron. And then they ask what is the percentage yield of this reaction. Now a normal reason why you would yield less than you'd expect from a reaction like this is that the substance that you are starting with is impure, especially in the purification of iron. Obviously there could be many impurities which would result in you landing up with less iron than you expected. So in order to calculate the yield, you start out by calculating how much you would expect to produce in our normal format, where we say the amount of iron oxide that we start with can be calculated using the given mass and the molar mass of that iron oxide, a given mass of 150 grams, a molar mass of 160 grams, which then means that we are starting with 0 0.9375 moles of iron oxide. Note that I have not rounded this off because as you move through this reaction or through this question, if you round off at every point, you would land up with a very different answer. Our next step is to convert that into an amount of iron that we would expect. And we do that by looking at our ratio of iron oxide in the reactants to iron in the products. We can see from the coefficients in the balanced equation that the ratio there is one to two, meaning that since we start with 0 0.9375 moles of iron oxide, we would multiply that by 2 to find that we expect to end up with 1.875 moles of iron. That can then be converted into a number of grams, where we say the mass of iron that is produced is equal to the number of moles that we've just calculated, multiplied by the molar mass of that iron, our number of moles, 1.875, multiply by the molar mass of 56, which means that we theoretically would expect to produce 105 grams of iron from 150 grams of iron oxide. Now this question has told us that we only produce 87.9 grams. Once again, this is most commonly as a result of impurities in your reactants, or it could also be inefficiencies in the reaction. Either way, you would calculate your percentage yield by taking the actual value that you have obtained, that you were given in this case, dividing it by the theoretical yield, what we expected from this and multiplying by 100. We actually obtained 87.9 grams. We expected 105 grams. Multiply that by 100 to get it to a percentage and we would find that the percentage yield for this reaction is 83.71%. What we'd also often call that is the reaction efficiency. We would say that this reaction is 83.71% efficient, meaning it only produces 83.71% of what you expect it to.